Welcome to the Point Second Podcast. My name is James Keeley. With me as always is Sammy Schaefer. How you doing, Sammy? All good, man. How about yourself? Not too bad. Not too bad. Mm-hmm. March Madness is over. Uh, I know. Are you sad? Little tear. Yeah. Little tear. It was great, though. It was, it was a fun tournament. A lot of fun. You got you got any sports lined up now that that's over? I got my Marlins shirt on. I couldn't I tell you know. five players on the team. <laughs> so you're going to pretend you like baseball now? I'm going to pretend I like baseball. I was wearing a, uh, uh, a, um, a hockey, hockey Florida okay. Panthers one. And this guy's talking to me. He's like, what do you think about this guy and this guy? I'm like, yeah, they're good. I have not watched one game so far. I think it's hockey playoff time, too. It's real focused on the NFL, uh, as you'll be able to see later on. Okay. Okay. We'll in see. our selections, how we did. <laughs> NFL in college did us pretty well, but not so much in the, the tournament. Spoiler alert. Yep. This is episode 51, available today, yep. Wednesday, April 10th. Nice. We figured it out. We got some fresh news to talk about later. Good. We got some of our, uh, we got the old crew back. So we're yeah. going to do some game day drinks. We're going to have a good time. Sammy, what's on the show? UConn wins it all again. Women's hoops wins big. Might as well jump. That's not what you think, actually. It's okay. kind of rough. <laughs> Start the show. Sammy, how was the weekend? How are things? It was it was eventful, but in a good way. All right, well, let's yeah. hear. I, yeah. The audience wants to know. All 37 people want to know. All 37 people. I, I, I went to the Cubs game on Saturday. That was fun. Oh, very yeah. nice. Uh-huh. And then I ended up at a, a male strip show on Saturday night. And it was interesting. <laughs> it went from so wholesome <laughs> to a real Sam Schaefer night. <laughs> Well, my buddy was in town performing, and he was a bit nervous, so I was like, I'll, I'll go support you. And it was different sitting in, in as a fan. It was much different yeah. you know, than being on stage, that's for sure. A fan? Mm-hmm. A fan of male strippers. Of course. I'm an advocate, let me tell you. An advocate. A supporter. <laughs> yeah. All right. But I didn't get on stage, didn't take my clothes off, I was just a fan. Did you Did you throw any money at him? Oh, plenty. I yeah. mean, you have to. It's like one of those win in Rome situations. I don't care if it's a dude I'm going to support. I'm supporting the arts. Do you put the money in their G-string? You, I don't. I just throw it. You just throw it? I do like a quick stick and move. I don't I don't hang around. Is it so they miss it and have to bend over and be like, ooh, <laughs> and they turn around? Is it one of those? Just one of those. The girls, are. they want to see them, not me, so I just... Yeah, I'm here to support, and then I get out of the way. Where was the show? This was in Lakeview. It was Chicago Theater Works, I think it's called. We're actually, right down the street for where we used to do Sketchfest. Really? Yeah, it was like literally a block away from Sketchfest. <laughs> we did very little stripping in <laughs> None. the Sketch Comedy I mean, festival. I actually did. I got naked on stage once or twice. You did. Right? So I did. That was actually, now I say, think about it, maybe you're the one that started my stripper career. Maybe. It was all smart corpy. Because you, you were trying to make me break on stage, which that, I think is very unprofessional. That was you actually put the challenge out. I did put the challenge out. But also, you wrote a sketch where I got down into my into women's underwear. That's true. So I'm going to blame that moment. That I was the one? Yeah, so next made... time my mom bitches at me, I'm going to be like, you can blame James. <laughs> He's the one that got me flexing my pickle at everybody <laughs> on stage. I got the itch, and then I got the itch. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Is that where you watched the basketball game? No, I was in Wrigleyville. Because the game, I was, so the Cubs game was cold. I think yeah. I left like eighth inning because we were down by four and I was like, it's too cold for this. And I met my cousin over at a place called Smoke Daddy. Smoke Daddy. I yeah. know Smoke Daddy. I never heard of it. That's yeah. where they wanted to go. I, it wasn't what I expected. You know, the Smoke Daddy sounded like an adult term, but man, that's just me, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> or, or, or a demand. <laughs> Anywho. Well, I watched the game there, and it was fun. Okay. Yeah. Smoked it. I think that's where the old Uberstein used to be, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah. And so you're still retired? Yeah. Any, any mushroom trips? Uh, no, no. That's like a once every couple of months thing. It was good intense. I couldn't do it that often. Man, the weekends. You know what I did? What? Just, like, made up a softball plan for my... For my softball it's team. True. You're a coach now. For my for my fourth grade softball team that I coach. Man, you are wild. Yeah. I don't I don't know. We should uh No Cubs game and, and followed by a male stripper show. <laughs> All right. Well you watched a little basketball, hopefully mm. that translated. We already said it didn't. <laughs> All right. Let's let's talk some picks. All right, Sammy. Let's talk about these final four picks. What was this first game in the final four that was on Saturday? First was uh number eleven NC State versus number one Purdue. NC State was plus nine and a half with a total of one forty six and a half, and we took that over. Well, you took the over, and I took the NC State points. Okay, so you know, we split it up here. Yeah, got a good shot. What was the final score of that game? Purdue sixty three to fifty. Just zero and one, zero and one. That's an zero and yeah. two right together. Uh huh. Uh-huh. That was a rough start to the weekend. There was nothing 
to, to hit here. No. NC State team total was over 68 and a half. They nowhere close nope. to that. Purdue team total was over 77 and a half. Nowhere close. Not close. DJ Burns, the uh, NC State center, had uh, 29 in the Elite Eight, mm-hmm. eight points in the Final Four. <laughs> Zach Eady had 40 in the Elite Eight, 20 points in the wow, Final Four. It's a low game, low scoring game. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was pretty brutal. But I did not care about that game yeah. because obviously mm-hmm. the Bama game was next. Yeah. So what do we got? What's the next game? What's that Final Four second game? Sam? Number four Alabama was versus number one UConn, and you picked uh, Alabama plus eleven and a half. Naturally, take the points. Naturally. Mm-hmm. And what was the total? UConn eighty six to seventy two. <sighs> yeah. It was a rough one too. <laughs> I'm an eleven and a half. That sounded good. And the total was one sixty and a half. Mm-hmm. So that missed too. That would have missed by three points. The, the, the game missed by uh, three points. I mean, how do they get this? Why does anyone gamble? And, and we have talked to you people. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. The, okay, look, I'm sorry. The Bama team total was 74 and a half. They scored 72. Oof. The uh, UConn team total was 86 and a half. They scored 86. How frustrating it, would that be if you bet that? Just a field goal away or a three-point away. Bama was a three-pointer <laughs> away. One, one foul for UConn. Oh, I love that you threw a field goal in there. I threw it out there. <laughs> what were you going to say? I interrupted you, sorry. No, nothing. I'm just laughing at the at the way the, one, the weekend went down. Although I do blame you. I wa- I end up watching basketball a little bit, and look what happens to our scores. Yeah, our, yeah. You know, our picks went to shit. I think it's your fault for making me watch. For, 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 for taking you away from drug trips and <laughs> nudist colonies. Yeah. So, sorry, fans. <laughs> we did this. We did this. All right, and then the national championship game was Purdue versus UConn. What was the line on that? All right, that was uh, plus seven and a half, and the total was one forty two and a half. Yeah, plus seven. I'm sorry, Purdue was plus seven, not seven and a half. Purdue yeah. was plus seven, total one forty two and a half. So I'm like, okay, Purdue plus seven. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty candy. I did not post it because I went over two. And if you follow me and I spent your money, I feel bad. Yeah. But I personally took Purdue plus seven. What was that final score say? UConn seventy five to sixty. So I'm not going to make that one either. I did so well at the end of the football season. <laughs> so is that 0 for 4 for us? Well. That week, over the weekend, I mean? 0 for 3. 0 for yeah. 3. Okay. 0 for 4, yeah. yeah for, including yeah. me. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm including myself in that yeah. misery. Yeah. I'm 0 and 3, you're 0 and 1. I went 2 and 7. Oh, man. For the for the last uh, two get for the Sweet 16 and on. So we def- so football is your thing, basketball not so much. Yeah. And I probably got very lucky in football. <laughs> this game was kind of brutal. Like yeah. it, it got close, but then it just the, the Purdue center Zach Eady, that seven foot four monster, he scored thirty seven points. The rest of the team had twenty three. Yeah, they just said, okay, we'll let him score. He's not going to score seventy points, and we'll score around seventy plus. Mm-hmm. So that's all they did. And, and, and UConn was balanced. The, their highest scorer Tristan Newton had 20, po- 20 points, and everybody else spread it around, and they figured out a way to win again. It just I don't know. Kind of a bummer of a game. Yeah. One of my good buddies, uh, Nicole, is a Purdue grad. I got some Purdue grad friends, and I was I was kind of pulling for him, but not so much. Yeesh. Not so much. Did you watch any of that game? I did not watch that game. Did you watch any of the women's game? I, I highlight to that. Okay. You know, that was it. Was like a, you know a national trend. Everyone was really big into women's basketball this season or for this bracket, and it was great to see the women's game turned into a story. A lot of people were asking me if I, I watched that game. Mm-hmm. So let, let's talk about it. What, what's this right. game? It was Iowa versus South Carolina. Iowa was plus six and a half, and the total is one sixty and a half. Okay. What was the final score? South Carolina eighty seven to seventy five. South Carolina played really well. Yeah. Caitlin Clark went out there, does what she 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 did what she does. Uh, Put on a show. Everybody was hoping. Everybody was kind of pulling for her because yeah. she's done so much for the game. That game averaged 18.7 million viewers. Wow. That's cool. 89% jump from the previous year. Wow. I mean, I they put it. it on more channels and mm-hmm. they, they, they hyped it more. And the Caitlin Clark situation really uh, pumped that up. And the South Carolina coach, Don Staley, actually like thanked her after the game and said, what you've done for our game has been tremendous. Yeah, it's been huge. And I thought that was classy. The men's game... So the women's game averaged eighteen point seven million. Mm-hmm. Men's game fourteen point eight million. <laughs> so, know, good for the, I love it. Good for the women's basketball. Uh, God bless them. Yeah, because that was the big knock. It's like, well, no one's going to pay to see women's soccer, and that's why they get paid less. Mm-hmm. I still think there's a lot. No one's really paying for the WNBA. So, mm-hmm. but but maybe if little girls are watching Caitlin Clark, yeah. getting more into it, and they want to go to the games, yeah. and they start pushing this. I mean, it's not it's not 
this one off. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think they're f trying to figure out a way to market the kids better. This NIL money might become more interesting in the yeah. women's game a little bit more. Yeah. And maybe it pumps up women at women's athletics. I got three daughters. I hope they make a lot of money playing sports. You know what? Let's hope they make it in the WNBA. Whatever. They can buy you a new studio. I don't get they need to buy me a new studio. <laughs> as long as I don't have to pay for college, Sam. <laughs> That's times. true. You were worried about the scholarship, I'm worried about the studio. <laughs> three colleges and three weddings I am not looking forward to. So send them to Miami. Tell them to find a rich husband. Yeah, well no, we're not doing that either. <laughs> you pay you get what you pay for, those sons oh, of bitches. <laughs> And, they're, and in Miami, they're all cocaine dealers. Is well, this the 80s still? <laughs> <laughs> and it was back to WNBA, or I'm sorry, women's. I love to see it. I mean, it was great. Yeah. Caitlin Clark, although some people are kind of dogging her, like, she's not the GOAT if she doesn't have a champion. And I was like, or championship. I'm like, that's pretty harsh. Yeah, I mean, that was another situation. Mm -hmm. The South Carolina team's very good. Yeah. And they just focused on Clark, and they tried to take her out of the game. I mean, the rest of the team played well, but... Yeah. It, you know, it's like uh, Purdue with Zach Eady. It's like it's it's a one person, one player show. So you know, and South Carolina's just got more talent uh, across the board. So okay. there's there's only so much you can do. I yeah. mean, she can fire it. She's a great shooter. Mm -hmm. She's a great player. Yeah. But you know, they, they, they South Carolina pulled away. Yeah. So they 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 covered the line and the the uh, they overcovered by a point and a half. They got that too. Like how does <laughs> Vegas know that? <laughs> that seems hard to cap. Oh, they're, they're Vegas, all hard to cap. Vegas is so good. So good. All right. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. we, we wrap up another basketball season. Yeah. Back to the NFL. I can't wait. Well, you know what? I mean, this, and, and no folks. joke, by the way, I heard you can bet on uh, uh, Special Olympics this, this year, so maybe we should do a Special Olympics season. I got to tell you, I mm -hmm. think that's a horrible idea. Oh, but. all right. I mean, hey, I, I'm, I'm for I'm not making fun. Those kids are good. They, they are, are athletic. They are. They would beat me in any of those sports. I mean, no way making fun of them. Yeah. I want to bet on them. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's 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 find out who's the best in that. I'll throw some cash down. All right, we'll get it going. Maybe that's something that uh, sets our podcast apart. Is we're pumping up uh, the things that people don't uh, watch as much. So. All right, love it. I'm in. <laughs> I've gone to shimmy out of that conversation. <laughs> All right, we're, we're having guests back. Let's have some game day drinks. Are these game day drinks? Sammy. Yeah. It's time for everybody's favorite drinking game. Kitty, hit it. Are these game day drinks? Every time. Amazing. <laughs> Professional. We have Kitty Keeley back. Kitty Keeley, everybody. Yay. Thank you for coming back on the show. And we also have Jackie Smith back. Jackie Smith, Yay. thank you for coming back on the show. Thank you. Jackie said, uh, do you want me to bring a surprise game day drink? I said, absolutely. And then... Got to her head. She said, do you want me to bring three? And I said, <laughs> absolutely. So, Jackie, take it away. Okay, so I thought it was college drinks. Mm -hmm. Not. It's college yeah, drinks. Game day drinks. So so I have three. Three yeah. college-themed game day drinks. All right. Yep. Take it away. Uh, what All are we right. doing first? Let me let me grab one out of the, the bag. Oh, these are big. <laughs> yes. Oh, these are, these are big. We've got... Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> we do not know what's coming. Bud Ice. <laughs> wow. Oh, they sell go. this? Nah, and they sell it. For the authentic college feel, I have red solo cups. Yeah. I only have two. <laughs> we have two red Bud Ice. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So okay. Got it. okay. <laughs> Look at that. Now, I don't remember these all that well. And I, I used to drink quite a bit of Bud product. I don't remember those at all either. Wow. Okay. Did you drink a lot of these in at the University of Illinois? No. Uh, shockingly, Benny's did not have any of the things I wanted. <laughs> what did you? So I had to pivot. So I what asked, did you want? I asked for um, Keystone Light. Keystone Light. That would have been a good call. They had Rolling Rock, but I had I would have had to get twelve. Yeah. Well, so. you don't want to do that. This is a very moderately watched show. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. To the end of March Madness. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> That's a difference. Mm. It definitely smells like college. Yeah. All right, it's a Bud product, and I, Bud Light before uh -oh. they changed things forever was one of my favorite. That, that, that was always the fight in my college was, was Miller Light versus Bud Light, and then you get older and they're like this the same thing. All like, right. What were we fighting over? I think it was really just which one was cheaper that night at the bar. Yeah. All right, <laughs> you guys know the game. We got to score these. Oh. This is full Jackie's tipping her in. <laughs> Jackie, the first time she came and gave a 2.2 to a, uh, uh, what was that first first beer? Ice House. Ice House. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, she's a tough critic. 2.2, 3.2, and a 2.6 in that episode, for what I remember. 
Um, Kitty, are you? Have you decided? I have. Uh, Sammy, what do you think Kitty gave this? Um, what did you? The first one we did was an like Ice House, or what was the first one we did? Th- this was yeah. yeah, Ice House was what Jackie gave it two point two. Do you remember what you scored that one? It's like a four, maybe. All right, I think you're gonna go up, so I'm gonna say a five point seven. Um, this is tough because I'm I. I uh. All right. I think I think you're pretty close, Sammy. Okay. I, I got her at a five point eight. And what do you think, Jackie? What do you think, Kitty's got it at? Uh, what was the Ice House score again? Four. Four. Something. Like a four-ish. Uh, five point seven. Five point eight. I'm gonna go with four-ish. Four-ish. <laughs> a repeat. Kitty, what do you got? Uh, I like it. Uh, Six point five. Oh, I think it's a game day. so close. <laughs> wow, game day dream. Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. Okay. Well, I got the closest. Yeah. All right, so, uh, what do you think Jackie gave it there, Kitty? Uh, I'm going to say 4.3. Yeah, what do you think, Sammy? Uh, 5.1. I got her at a 4.8. Oh. Uh, I did oh. 2.0. <laughs> I thought it was worse than the Ice House. I, just, I really thought you were going to like it because the Ice House had no flavor. This at least has something yeah. to it. All right, uh, Jackie, what did Sammy give this? Well, based on what he just said, I'm going to say 5.6. Okay, Kitty, what do you think? Yeah, some flavor. Uh, 5.2. I think he's at a 6.1. Ooh. 5.5. 5. 5.5. 5. 5. Yeah. And I love how it says the big one on the side. The big one. The I gave the big one a 5.5. 5. Yeah. Uh-huh. And last but not least, what do you think? Did I qualify this as a 6.4 or better as for a game day drink? Uh, Kitty, what do you think? I think you did. I All said, right. I think you got 6.5. Four. All right, right there. Yeah. What do you think, Sammy? I, I, I'm saying 6.5 right there. I think he just made it for you. What do you think, Jackie? I'm just going to say 4.5. No. <laughs> 6.2 just oh, missed. So just missed. So but you know how that goes. 6.2, if, you're, if, if you've had... Couple. If you run out of the other one, this is going right into the 6.4 area. All right. You're not going to run out of that. You're yeah, not right? going to run out of you that. Got plenty there. All right, what's next, Jack? Okay, so this one's the one in the can. Okay. Ooh, so, this one looks fancy. They did not have Keystone Light. Okay. And I told the guy at the Benny's what I was doing, and he recommended this, which he said that the Lake Forest College kids... Come in and buy all the time. Really? And what is this called? Montucky. Montucky. Hey, Montucky cold, cold snack. snack. Do you have four of these? Or four I have four of these. Oh, we got four. Okay, yeah. I'm in. And I think it says cold it's the snack. official <laughs> beer of Montana. Right. I got you know I got a friend from Montana, so. Well, Kentucky, yeah. Yeah, official beer. It, yeah. It's kind of like they didn't know what they wanted, right? Montana and Kentucky. Mon- yeah. Yeah, Montucky. <laughs> so okay. I mean, it's got a horse. I've so never heard of this. Very, very cheap. Cheers. Very cheap. How much Cheers. was this a a, a pull? I got six of these for eight ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay, this is like. <laughs> this Lake, is the new college drink. Lake right? Forest College Kids. Okay, Lake Forest College Kids. Montucky, here we go. Mm. I took a big hit off that one. It says the official unofficial beer of Montana. Oh, it does. Yeah, it says official unofficial. I just okay. like that it's a cold snack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. It's a cold snack. Hmm. Yeah, this is. Hmm. I, this is. <laughs> okay, here's the difference. Here's why this is. We're revolutionizing the college. Uh, uh, game uh, now that we're all in our 40s. This, uh, what? The, 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 I mean, not you, of course, <laughs> the temperature, the temperature is key. Here. Yeah, yeah, this is these are ice, ice cold. cold. Ice cold. I told Jackie, you gotta ice these down if you're gonna mm-hmm. do it, and then she mocked me because she didn't think <laughs> she didn't think that I thought that she could get beers in a cooler with ice on top of them. Mm-hmm. She did ask me a lot of follow up questions. Though. <laughs> Does the ice need to be out of the bag or into the, out of the bag? <laughs> Uh, look, she's gonna, she's gonna. Oh no, she's gonna blow. Get back in frame. Get back in frame. No, no. <laughs> All right, let's score this some bitch. Huh. All right, six point four or better to make it to a game day oh, drink. I'm really torn on this one. <laughs> Nothing's fried. I'm torn. All right, I picked. Who got me, Kitty? What do you think I got this at? Um. I'm going to say that you put that in a game to drink. 6.5. Okay. Sammy. I'm saying 6.0. I think you liked it, but not enough to drink it for a game. Jackie, what do you got me at? 
I did not care for this. This is not great. I might have been influenced by the uh, the price. Yeah. Wait a minute. You like the Bud Ice better than, than the Montage? I think I do. The aftertaste on this is bad. The Bud Ice tastes like funny, like skunky Budweiser. It does. Yeah. Which is why it's all it tastes like. I'm surprised you liked it better. But, yeah. but I mean, Budweiser is good. You know, Budweiser to me is like a like a seven one. I like a cold, ice cold Budweiser. Um, that's your dad coming out. Dad, <laughs> right? Yeah. James dad. That's my out. grandfather coming out. My dad was yeah. not a beer drinker, but my grandfather. I mean, you, I mean you as a dad. Or oh, oh, that's the dad. Yeah, you, you being a dad. That's the dad side of you coming yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Sammy. Uh, I, I got you on this one. At a, I think you're right around me. I think you're about a five point two. What do you think you got, Jackie? Four point five. Kitty? Uh, I think you liked it better than the Bud, so what would you... Uh, I was a five and a half on the Bud Ice. So I'm going to say uh, 5.9. Uh, 6.0. Oh, oh okay. Nice. Now, I almost called this a 6.4 game day drink, but then I read it's brewed in Wisconsin, and that just pissed me off. Ah. Yeah. I was like, this isn't a Montana beer. Stop faking like you're a brewed Montana beer. in Wisconsin. Yeah. No beer comes Liars. from Wisconsin. All right. But well, 6.0. Well, that's why they called it Montucky. Yeah, there Wisconsin you go. Wisconsin doesn't know how to spell Montana. <laughs> Now, I think <laughs> Kitty Keeley tipped her hat a little bit on this one. Okay. I think she thought she liked it. I think she thinks she liked it more. I got her at a 6.6. .6. What do you think, Jackie? 5.5. 5. Sammy? Would you would you do the butt ice at? Um, 6.5. Um... I think you liked it. I'm going with 6.4. Just barely made it game day. What do we got? 6.7. Oh, oh, so close. I yeah. like these crappy beers. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. well, I have two more. Uh, okay. That they can have. <laughs> <laughs> they really like it. They score. All right. And uh, Jackie, last score, Bud Eyes 2.0. Mm -hmm. So this enigma of her is, does she like this slightly less or slightly more? I think she's definitely in the ones or twos on this. <laughs> Uh, Kitty, what do you think? Uh, 2.2. Mm -hmm. Sam? I think she liked it, but I'm going to 4.0. I got her a 1.7 on this one. What do you got, Jack? I, I, another 2.0. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow. Equally <laughs> consistent. But differently bad. She, she screwed me. I'm like, it's either less or more. And then she's like, no, exactly that. Not even. <laughs> exactly that. Sorry. All right. And the last but not least, do, do, do we have a setup on this, Jackie? No, but we need cups again. Okay. okay. We need more cups. Okay. Let me... Let me... Um, you have so cups? I, I don't know what I'm handing you. This is what we're, it's we're jungle doing. It's jungle oh, juice. Jungle juice. Jungle juice. So is this a home <laughs> boy? No, oh, wow. I put it in. <laughs> Right in front of me. Oh boy! Oh so wait, I'm sorry. Is this something you made or bought? I made. It. Oh, this oh, no. is true college. Right what? Here. Okay, oh. look at this, Sammy. What kind of question is this? How, how can you buy this at a store? Well, I don't know if she like. I meant like yeah. bought it and then put, put it in into a container. Or something. All right, all right, all right. So <laughs> what? Juice. So this is the next one. We're doing jungle juice then. Yep, we're, we're doing okay. jungle juice. Okay. Wow. You mean you open it? Yeah. Yeah. Do we need to shake it more? There. <laughs> okay. Here, let's. Here, I'll do it. Yeah. Let's, yeah. I haven't yeah. had jungle juice since college. I've probably been to Kitty, have you ever had jungle juice? No, I don't even think I had it in college. Well, okay. I guess two more glasses. I don't, glasses know what, what, I don't know what your definition of jungle I, juice is. I found out that there is a lot of variation in what is in jungle juice. Okay. So. Just, you got it? Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. This you, this has turned into a whole thing. <laughs> Do I want to know what's in it? Do, yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah. It's Kool Aid. Okay. Powdered Kool Aid. Powdered Kool Aid. Everclear. Oh boy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what? It's a school night, Jack. We're done. Yeah, right? We got everything else. I'm going sleeping over. Okay, yeah. Okay. And that's it? That's it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's water. Oh, and some water. That's definitely well, not that's what that's I good. thought that's Jungle Juice was. Water and just some other things. All right, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Um, last episode ever? Maybe. <laughs> right. All right. Let's see how this goes. I mean, you don't smell the Everclear. Oh. Uh, uh, that's okay. the attraction. It, it masks it well. Yeah. Uh, do you think you pour it heavier or light before I start chugging? Okay, so it's a quart of Kool-Aid-ish and two shots of Everclear. Oh, so it's not a ton. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, Jungle Juice in, in, in my day was all the leftovers poured together. I got a question. Ugh. Did you buy Everclear or do you just have that at the house? <laughs> I just... did buy Everclear. <laughs> Good. <laughs> And the guy, thank God, the guy at Finney's, who was I don't know, fifty-five to sixty-five years old, was like, 
so many people buy this. It must be really good. What do you mix it with? And I was like... like, You should have told me straight. You should be like, I drink it straight. (laughs) The morning after pill. Yeah. Who's buying this? It's the worst idea ever. For uh, like Jello shots. Right? Clear. No, you're right. It's so it's, horrible. It's, it's, used, it's very popular in Jello shots. Jello shots. Mm. All right, who's got me on this? I, I scored it. Did everybody score it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kitty, did you score it yet? Yeah. All right. I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll just jump and say, James, I think you gave it a 3.0. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think, Kitty? Uh, well, I think you liked it. It's easy to drink and. Uh, you could drink it all day, so I gave, I think you said a game day drink, uh, six, six. You think you could drink Everclear all day? <laughs> what do you think well, I gave it? You could drink <laughs> that cup all day. That's true. Uh-huh, 5.5. Kitty, 6.7. Oh, Very really? good. He almost said 6.7, I think. Yeah. You actually, game day drink, okay. <laughs> it, it is. It's delicious, and I think that I would have a big problem the next day. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and, and Kitty'd have to be taken. She'd be like, you need to get a hold of yourself. We have children. All right, all right. Uh, what do we think Sammy gave this? He's an uh, old connoisseur of this jungle juice. Yeah, I don't think he liked it. I'd say 4.0. 4. 4.0? 4. I think he liked it. I think he's got I think he's got a 6.5 in this. What do you think, Jackie? 6.4. What do you think? What do you got, Sam? 4.0. Oh! oh! You got it. Yeah. It's too sweet. I yes. couldn't drink I, it. It tastes good, but one, and I'm, I'm okay. I'm good. It's too sweet. I couldn't drink it all day. All right. We're going to go with Jackie next, and she made it. Uh, uh, since she made it, I, I would think she had to like it, right? <laughs> Maybe she didn't go. But she scores so low on everything. <laughs> 6.5, Jackie. Well, Kitty, what do you think Jackie's got? Uh, I'm going to say she bumped this up to a 5.2. Okay, Sammy? I'm thinking 5.5. All right, what do you got, Jack? I gave it a 6.4. Oh, okay, ding, all right, ding, ding, it's ding, right ding, there. Ding, ding, ding. It's right there. And then Kitty, Woo. what do we think Kitty's got it at? Uh, what do you think, Jackie? I'm going to say 6.4. 6.4? 6.1. 6.5. 4.0. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Too sweet. No, honestly, I agree. It, it does taste good. It's just really sweet. The Kool-Aid. I think you won, and then I'm like, mm. Did you both do a 4.0? Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. All right, and what's last? Uh, that's it. That's it. That was three. last. Oh, that was last. That was it, yeah. Okay, well. I think, yeah, I think jungle juice is how you end it. That's yeah. a good way to end it. Okay, well, last thing we have. Spicy Chicken McNuggets. Has anyone had one of these? I, are we Ooh. doing a, College a, a food. impromptu game day Impromptu food? game day food. Game day food? Nice. Absolutely. There we go. Nice job. Thank you. I definitely feel like I'm in college right now. All like, right. Ever clear I've had it. these before, and I think they're great. Oh, these are very cold. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Just like the beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's score these quickly. I got these high. <laughs> I got... Wait I, for it. I got a 7.2 on this. Ooh, that's mm-hmm. super high. What no, do you think? I'm with him on that. I'm like seven and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could I could eat these all day. And if I'm drunk, these are like a nine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> if I've had a bunch of jungle juice, no these things are going deep. Uh, what do you got, Jack, in this? I'm going to agree with Sammy. Yeah, yeah. If I'm drunk, they are a nine. Mm-hmm. High score. Yeah. And what do you think, Kitty? Yeah, I mean, I'll put them at a game day food, but they're like six, four. Really? Just okay. There. Just there? I like the spice on them. I think they got good spice for what they are. Yeah. All right, now it's a real good time to talk conspiracy theories. Yes. <laughs> and we have, we got just the gal. All right, that was another episode of Kitty. You ready for it? Is this game day food? There you go. Or is this game day drinks? Perfect either way. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is a long segment. Thanks for bringing all the drinks, Jack. You're welcome. All right, now let's talk some serious shit. Sammy. Yeah. What else is in the news? All right, first up, Kate Middleton is still nowhere to be seen, adding further credibility to Jackie Smith's claim that she is definitely dead. <laughs> you are becoming very popular mm-hmm. with this with this royal family stuff. Yeah. So you're a real name in this now. <laughs> Great. Jackie, what's going on with Kate Middleton? Um, nothing. She still hasn't no. been seen. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's had too much jungle juice. <laughs> That's some entertainment right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Play it straight. I don't know. Uh, she still hasn't been seen. William hasn't been seen. Like, she was promised back on Easter. Yeah, that <clears throat> resurrection thing. You, yeah. you and Cindy were really hoping um, for that resurrection thing. Yes. That didn't happen. That also implies she's dead, right? Um... Or, you know, recovering from cancer. Right. Just in really bad shape. 
I think um, people were shamed for making all the jokes, and then it comes out that she has cancer, so everyone's just kind of laying low. Yeah. That's kind of nice. I think everyone was like, all right, maybe we were kind of shitty. But yeah, but is that just a, a tactic? Okay. It is. It, yeah. Ah, uh, like, like you're going to make them feel shameful so they stop realizing that she's actually dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. It's God. like what it's like what the media does and what people do when yeah. it's like something's wrong, you know, happening wrong in the world. And they're like, you shouldn't criticize people. And you're like, well, those are pedophiles. I'm like, no, they're minor attracted persons. <laughs> that's yeah. a cute name for a pedophile. <laughs> minor attracted person. Maps. That's what they're called. I These know. are actual <laughs> things. I, disgusting. I really wish that was a joke. No, it's, it's true. Disgusting. It's, it's true. Disgusting. Oh. disgusting? How dare you? Those are people <laughs> that just want to rape disgusting. smaller, younger people. You think How of their feelings. dare you? Mm-hmm. Think of their feelings. They're people, too. They have feelings. So, um, what, how do you think this ends, Jackie? I think she's going, they're going to announce that she passed away she just, peacefully. She just died. What? She just died. <laughs> that she just died. Yeah. And then it's going to be over. Well, it's like the, you know, the Osama bin Laden. They're like, oh, they're like, we got bin Laden. And they're like, sweet, let's, you know, string him up. Let's see his dead body in the, you know, in the middle of Manhattan. And they're like, no, we just shot him in the head and we buried him at sea. It's like, no, you know, you either didn't find him or he's working for the CIA. Right. <laughs> you didn't bury him at sea. He bought him off. That didn't happen. <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah, Hitler. Hitler's dead. He killed him. So yeah, bummer. Everybody go home. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing we're to going, see here. We, we're going to Argentina just to check it out. But yeah. we're dead, we're not dragging Hitler and all of his gold <laughs> and, all, and everyone that's ever worked for him there yeah, to true. figure it out and pick their brains <laughs> for world power and domination. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to see here. The worst people in the world. Yeah. So that's probably what happened with Kate. Or again, back to my. She is the woman in the Iron Mask, and she is she's hidden there. So. That's what I think. Yeah, but they still can't let her out after that. No, 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 no. Well, she's going to talk. You don't so. put someone in an iron mask and then be like, okay, now you can, <laughs> now go. can go. Get a little sun in your face, love. <laughs> we know you're British, but that iron mask really draws, <laughs> draws you out a little bit. All right, Sammy, what else? A cruise passenger jumped to his death from an 18th floor of a Royal Caribbean ship after an argument with his dad. Okay, oh. family vacations are hard. <laughs> but you don't want to go this route. <laughs> This guy was 20, Uh, apparently he was very drunk, and his dad says, you're too drunk, a lot of people witnessed it, and he says, I'll fix this right now, and hurled himself off the side of the ship. I mean, dramatic. That's dramatic. That's dramatic. To the max. I he thought he would, you know, fall in the water and be okay? I think he thought he was going to kill himself. I I, I think he was going to say either, I'm out of here, and I'm going to, you know, I'm I'm, going to make the most dramatic exit ever. Uh, or he was just like, I hate everybody and I gotta go. It's, you know, we're not making fun of it. It's a mental health issue, but that's where the might as well jump from the beginning came from. Um, (laughs) Oh yeah, I was thinking Van Halen when I read that. Well, of course. (laughs) Uh, the Coast Guard has called for the search. I just want to say, stop going on vacations with people that drive you to kill yourself, even if they are family. Like how many times have you been invited to a family event and you're like, (sighs) Okay. But if they criticize me for being drunk, I'm going to throw myself off on the 18th floor. Too soon? <laughs> Stop doing things that you don't want to do in life. I'm too old for cruises with people I don't like. Yeah, stuck on a cruise ship with someone I don't like sounds miserable. It's horrible. I, it, oh God, it's really bad. So anyways, that poor guy, I feel bad for him. He had a rough day, and he, it, he's gone now, it? and it's a shame. But... The next part of news is someone that I would like to see killed on this planet. What's the next piece, Sammy? Jordan Vandersloot has been attacked in a Peruvian prison fight where he is serving a 28-year sentence for murder. Oh. This is Joran Vandersloot. You said Jordan oh, Joran. close I'm enough. Joran. We've talked <laughs> oh, about Joran. him. Yeah, Joran. Yeah, I know who that is. We talked about him in a previous episode. This is Natalie Holloway's killer. Yeah. Um, he's serving 28 years. Uh, and apparently he's, he's not doing well. Not well liked in, in prison. Surprise, surprise. Uh, a former prisoner described him as arrogant, cocky, and just a total douchebag. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Which, for a murderer of two women, he, he confessed to the Natalie Holloway uh, murder. Mm-hmm. He confessed to her mother and said, give me $250,000 and I will tell you where she's buried. Wow. They gave him $25,000. He took the money and bought drugs with it. Total, he totally lied about where she was. Blah, blah, blah. They never found poor Natalie. Wait, you can't trust a murderer? I know. Yeah, right. And what is this world coming to when you can't trust a, an, an admitted murderer? I know. 
And the statute of limitations at Aruba is 12 years. So even though he admitted it, they can't convict him of this. Wow. They can't charge him with this. Wow. When you, when you say I did something, uh-huh. so you wait 12 years in a day and say, I, you know, I, I, I'm a mass murderer. And they're like, you're good. Okay, you're fine. There's nothing we can do according to the law. Go get some more people. Yeah, I don't think I don't think statute of limitations should apply to murder and and, and m- yeah. like major major crimes like that. Yeah, I think there's some crimes you'd be like, yeah, let's yeah, put him in jail. Luckily, a prison official has uh, said he has a lot of enemies and quote unquote a lot of people want him dead. All right, <laughs> so so I, it won't be long. I'm I'm one of them, and I'm nowhere near Peru. So, um, but here's what bugs me. If this prison sounds very cushy, they're like it's a horrible prison, blah blah blah. Well, he has been approved for conjugal visits with three different women. What? Yeah. So he's having sex with three different women while there. They have private rooms for two hours every visit when visitors come in. Wow. He's having the time of his life. Jeez. Well, if you could murder them, he'd have, be having the most time of his life. He likes that. Step it up a bit. But, but they're like, <laughs> they're talking about it in the article. They're like, yeah, he's, he, Jordan's a real player. Like, he's a real player. Who are these women? Yeah. Makes me question what I'm doing wrong. Like, do I have to murder someone to, to pick up women now? What yeah. the hell is going Apparently. on in this world? Yeah. Sammy just looks like a murderer. <laughs> yeah. Okay? But he's he's available. <laughs> Hit him up. Hit him up style. What were you going to say, Jackie? I forgot. <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Thanks, Jungle Juice. I mean, I will admit, the Jungle Juice is starting to go up to a five. It's getting yeah. better the more I drink it. See? He, he, he's been in uh, two different facilities, and he's had seven different women wow. that have Come for the conjugal visits with him. How is that allowed? That seems like it, it shouldn't be a, uh, granted, uh, you know? I know. Someone is in prison for murder. You know, that's very short-sighted of you. Murderers are people, too. Mm. That's true. They're like maps. Think of their feelings, Well, too. just put them out in the yard. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that'll take advantage. There's plenty of sex to be had in prison, right? apparently. Right, yeah. Come on. What were you going to say, Jack? I think there's women out there that are attracted to people like this. Clearly. So. Oh, yeah. So. Clearly. They well, all, they all get women. Like I don't think they were looking to get famous, though, because this happens all the time, Kitty. Like, these, these serial killers, yeah. they, they, always get, get, they yeah. get these these love letters written to them. Yeah. Like you, you, but, but maybe they're attracted to that fame, even if it's the darkest fame you can have. Yeah. But be better, ladies, especially these seven ladies. Like, we don't... <laughs> like, you, you two should be very upset with these ladies for doing that. I'm upset with him for being a murderer as a man. You should be upset for women being like... Well, we're going to tend to your manly needs, sir. Even <laughs> We're going to fly to that Peruvian prison and take two hours of our day to treat you right. Yeah. So, anyways, poor one guy that died and poor one guy that should be definitely dead. Let's on, on to something else. Sammy, what do we got? Legendary actor Gene Hackman has been criticized for wearing the same outfit from weeks earlier in a rare public sighting. Okay. Oh, the great Gene Hackman right here. Yeah. This is what he's wearing. Okay. No big deal. He looks a lot different. Yeah. Guess how old Gene Hackman is. Anyone? Anyone? He's he's up there. I know what it is, too. He's like 90-something. He's 94 90. years old. 94. Look at him. That's he's, Gene Hackman? That's Gene Hackman. Yeah, he's, he's definitely, you know. Unrecognizable. unrecognizable. I mean, <sighs> handsome, handsome, great actor, devil yeah. there. You know, getting a little older. Oh, boy. But 94. 94. He's holding, what, cigarettes, maybe? Dunkin' Coffee? Yeah. Or 7-Eleven Coffee? Yeah. I figure at 94, he'd be treating himself to like a, like a very expensive, like, venti something or other. But uh, hey, he does what he does. 94. 94. Good for him. He's not going to act anymore. He retired in, uh, last last movie was two, 2004. I never saw it. It was called Welcome to Mooseport. I've heard of the movie, but uh, never saw it. But I love Gene Hackman. Kitty, yeah. you know this. Yeah, He's so good. I'm a big fan too. We, we, I, I mentioned this on the show. Yeah. Big Gene Hackman fan. He's such a good bad guy. Yeah, he is a good bad guy. <laughs> good bad guy, funny guy. He's a good mm-hmm. coach. So he was on like 60 Minutes or something, and they did a profile on him, and he was, he was walking around his apartment, and he's showing all these uh, paintings that he does. He's a painter. And he goes, this is my passion. He goes, but, but, he goes, but you see how good I'm, I am at it, so that's why I have to act still. He was very <laughs> humble about it. And he's a very good painter. I, I can't paint at all. And, but I, I guess if you, if you understand art like that in painting, you know that if you're either exceptional or you're just kind of good. Uh, he, just, like, I, he just thought he was good, and, and that's why... He decided to go to his talent, which is acting. But anybody have a favorite Gene Hackman movie? What's that one he did with Will Smith? Enemy of the State? Yeah, I loved him in that movie. <laughs> nice. The movie itself was good, but I thought he was great. <laughs> he was good in that movie. movie I love that I really got good. that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I always love Hoosiers. That's one of my favorites. Hoosiers is right there. Everybody loves Hoosiers. There. Jackie, what do you, you, got a, you got a favorite? 
You're probably gonna laugh, but The Firm was one of the like the first oh, like yeah. adult movies that I watched. Mm-hmm. Firm was <laughs> adult movie that you watched. She said it. I, okay. It's not. Okay, Kitty. What do you think my favorite <laughs> Hackman movie is? Oh, uh, it's a tough one. It's not that tough. <laughs> Superman. No, I'm just kidding. Superman's right up there. Lex <laughs> Luthor. He was great yeah, as Lex Luthor. I did love Crimson movie. Tide's up there. Not a, oh, not as great yeah. of a movie, but mm. a great title. Mm. But he was in Unforgiven. Uh-huh. He was a little Bill in that. He was excellent. I never saw Mississippi Burden or, uh, uh, Burning or the Poseidon Adventure. He was very Poseidon good. Poseidon Adventure. I love that one too. Yeah. yeah. I, I never saw French Connection, which I hear is Ooh, yeah. excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Get Shorty. He was good in Royal Tenenbaums. Yeah. Excellent. Royal Tenenbaums. And a personal note for me. The Birdcage. Oh, oh so of course. As Senator Kevin I Keeley. I forgot that one. As Senator Kevin Keeley, Gene Hackman was the greatest. Senator Keeley. Now, did, did you know he was in Young Frankenstein? Yes, I did. I All looked right. that up. I, but I, I looked it up because uh, I was looking at his movies. I, I was shocked. Sure. I had no idea it was him that was in it. Mm-hmm. It was a smaller role, but... Yeah, you know he was in makeup, so you don't even recognize him. But yeah, he was in Young Frankenstein. We turned this uh, episode around. That that Vandersloot and yeah. the guy jumping off the br- <laughs> jumping off the boat thing really got us down. Sad. All right, and then last but not least, this is more for Sammy than anybody. What, what's this last one? Got. Actress Heather Graham posted bikini shots on social media to celebrate her 54th birthday. Okay, here, sign uh, me up. Here yeah. we go. I love Heather Graham. I, I was gonna do a Sammy to the go Sammy to the, the limit on this. Go back to the yellow folder. What is the yellow folder? Okay, yeah. I was gonna do a Sammy to the limit on this, but I already know the answer to this. one. I mean, yeah. Heather Graham, I've always loved Heather Graham. Okay, look at 54-year-old Heather Graham here, guys. That's her at 54? 54! She I'm, posts I'm, these every year after her 50s? Good girl. Uh, yeah, yeah. My 54. age range just went up to 55. <laughs> <laughs> there is no doubt that a Sammy to the Limit would I'd be like, Heather Graham, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Heather Graham, yeah, 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 yeah. She's 94, yep, yeah, sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's living her best life. But I'm, my question is, I mean, this is a very talented actress, mm. a, a very attractive woman, bar, you know, without without question. Why has she never, like, had a husband? She's had some boyfriends. She's single? She's had a lot of boyfriends, but oh, nobody's yeah. ever locked that down. That might be a personal choice. Maybe yeah. she's a bit of a swinger. She doesn't. Uh, she well, knows how attractive it always she is. goes to that. It <laughs> always she goes to that. Maybe she doesn't want to just stay with one guy. Maybe she likes keeping playing the field a little bit. Always goes to that. Uh, favorite uh, Heather Graham movie? Uh, anyone got one that's popping out on them? I mean, she she always stood out in uh, the Hangover movies. She was great. I know it wasn't her movie, but she was great. It, it, very good. Mm-hmm. Hangover. She's she's very good. Like she did she did a, a cameo in Anger Management, and she was really funny. Okay. Um, Bowfinger, so funny. She's so funny in that. Mm-hmm. The spy who, Austin Powers is the spy who shagged. Oh, yeah. she was so good in that. that. Yeah. She was great. Um, she was in Scrubs too for a while. It was really good. Yeah, yes. my favorite though, Roller Girl, Boogie Nights. She, but Boogie Nights is great. It's not Boogie just Nights because a great movie. she's doing, you know, she's getting down with it. But Bo- she's so good, and, and that's a, like a very dramatic role too. Um, yeah, so she she's got quite the career too. Fifty four years old. Happy birthday, Heather Graham. Happy birthday. You're Happy living birthday. you're living your best life. I like that when these women are older and they feel good and they're putting it out there, and it's just like people are like. Okay, good for you. Yeah. Like we all, we all wish we were. Why 50. not? Yeah. Well, Martha Stewart did it. Yeah. She did. She did. <clears throat> not like as. She didn't look as good. <laughs> yeah, she's no Heather Graham. Not no Heather. Graham. But she's also eighty four. Uh, do you remember the the movie License to Drive with Corey Haim and Corey Feldman? Do you remember I that? Do. She was Mercedes Lane. She was a she nice. was the object of a lot of affection uh, of a, a of a prepubescent and pubescent <laughs> boys at that time in that in that era. But yeah, she was a. Uh, so she's uh, she's living her best life. So so cheers to that. Uh, thanks for watching uh, the March Madness trifecta episodes. Woo. This was a lot of fun. How did you? Anybody uh, win their pool? No, I came in second. Second? Did you win money? Won eighty seven dollars. Oh my! Well, no <laughs> wonder you treated to these drinks. Yeah. Thanks for that, Jackie. Eighty seven bucks. Who'd you have? Who'd you have in the final uh, two? I had, you had the, the, the main one. Yeah, Purdue and, and UConn. And you picked UConn. Very I nice. Did. That's well pretty done. good. Mm-hmm. Well I played. Did. All right, well, thanks for watching. We will be back probably soon. We will definitely be back for football season. Yeah. And we will see you then. Thanks for watching the PTP. Anybody got anything else to say? Just thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks for watching. And if anything, breaking news comes out on the Royal Family. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting her back. No, wait, She's, but I'm not a psycho. Not a psycho. No. Yeah. I know. <laughs> not a psycho at all. We established that. Not a psycho. All right, raise, raise whatever glass you like most or least. And uh, cheers to that. Thanks for watching our show, and uh, thanks for all the support. We'll see you again.